Alright, welcome back to some more of the Hunter Classic. Today, you can see what we got right here. We got ourselves some wild boar. And one of them actually looks pretty damn nice. And it's actually that one right there. That is probably the biggest wild boar I've seen. Haven't really done too much, but I decided to purchase myself a couple of the freaking uh, the hog feeders here. And I don't know which one looks better. That one looks really good. And that one also looks really good. Hmm. I wonder if we can call them and maybe get them a little bit closer. I do have the 300 Magnum on me, and I don't think that's really going to do anything since they're already basically here. Man, I wish I had my skill thing leveled up to where I could see score estimates. I need to do that. Alright, I need to get that upgraded. Which one looks better to you guys? I think this one kind of looks a little bit better. His cutters look a little bit nicer. Yeah. Hmm. I do have the Pulsar Bow and the 300 Magnum on me. So what I was thinking... Maybe I could get one with the Pulsar, and then the other one with the 300 Magnum, because I'm sure they're going to spook. Alright. Oh, that was a little bit low, and I don't know where the one went. I don't know exactly where. Uh, that was a pheasant there. I don't know, man. Okay, he's down. There was another big one. I don't know which one it was, though. I couldn't really see. They were all running, like, straight away from me, so I couldn't see any angles. Hmm. We're going to be doing some pheasant hunting here soon, too. So, next classic video is probably going to be a pheasant. Uh, so... What is that? Is that a roe deer? No, it's, it's a fox. What is that? Is it a fox? Oh, it is a fox. I've never seen a fox in this game. So, we're in Hirschfeld, if you can't tell. And, by the way, to anyone new to these videos, because I know there is a couple of new... People that have subscribed to the channel from just seeing my classic videos. I am new to this game. I've been playing it for, I got like 30 hours put in this game now. So if you do have any tips, please let me know. Like anything at all, like, you know, what's the best guns? What's the easiest maps to hunt? Tips for wild boar? Stuff like that. I would greatly appreciate it. But let's go grab this guy. And then maybe we will get back up in the tree stand and see if we can call these guys back. Let out a call there. Maybe that'll help attract them back or bring them back here. I don't know. But that was definitely a pretty nice shot. It definitely looked a little bit low. But let's go grab him and see what he scores. He's got some nice cutters. And, and what I mean by cutters is tusk. I'm from Florida down here in the south. I've grown up hog hunting my whole life with dogs, you know, grabbing them. The hogs or the dogs will catch them. You come up, grab them by the back legs, the hog at that is. And then you flip them on their side and then you stab them in the side with a knife. And, you know, hit them in the heart and kill them. That's what I've grown up doing. Uh, so we call them cutters. I'm sure people, other other people call them that as well. But let's check this pig out. It looks, looks pretty good. That is a, that's a nice one. I kind of have an idea of what a high scoring pig is. And that is, if it'll generate here, 961. Wow. That's a good pig. I know like a thousand to 1200 is like a monster. That's a damn good pig there, man. Let's freaking go. That is... I will definitely take that. Let's try and get up a... Let's check that shot, too. That was perfect behind the shoulder. I should have looked at my shot placement there. But let's get a nice little trophy shot lined up here. And then we'll see if we can climb back in the stand and maybe get those other pigs set up. Or those other pigs to come back. Uh, okay, I think that'll do. That looks about as good as I can get it, to be honest. That's like one of the most complicated freaking things to do in this game is set up a trophy shot. But let's see if we got any filters here that will look good. That one's kind of just a little bit too saturated. I think we're going to go with no filter. I can always hit it up in the Photoshop and make it look, look a little bit better. But I think I'm going to taxonomize that. I, that's definitely a pretty nice hog. So I guess we're going to come back here. We'll sit up in the stand for a little bit. See if we can get these pigs back. If there's nothing that decides to come back, then we're going to head over to the other spot. All right, so it looks like that other wild boar. He's, you can't see him now, but I'm pretty sure that's him. He was the other like bigger one here at the feeder when we shot our nice one. Uh, he's over there, and then we have another one coming in. There he is right there. I think that's a sow. I can't really tell from this distance. But, yeah, man, I can't wait to go shoot these pheasants. I actually got a really nice one the other day ago, man. Very close to leaderboards. You guys will have to see that in the next classic video when we actually go out here and do some pheasant hunting. I got I got a dog, and, you know, I bought me a shotgun and stuff. He's coming in pretty close here at 45 meters out, just about. All right. 20, 30, 40. Oh, man, he's going to start walking, of course. I see two other pigs out there in the distance. Maybe three. I can't really tell. I don't know where that other bigger boar went. Maybe this is him. Maybe he looped all the way around the other side of that hill, but I don't think it is. You know what? Let me get another range here. Okay. All right, so he's 43 out. 
God damn it. As soon as I take a shot, or go to take a shot every time, he freaking starts walking. Okay, I think I got eyes on that other boar. Okay, yep, that's him right there. Alright, calm down. Quit squealing on me. Man, that's an adrenaline rush. Tell me. Let me tell you about it. In real life, when you have those hogs grabbed by the leg, and there's like a bulldog on their ear holding them down, they are squealing, and you're about to stab them, and then you stick them with that knife, and they start scream. Oh, man. It sounds messed up, but, you know, they're, they're a nuisance. It's part of life. And that was a good shot. Hopefully that doesn't spook our other guy out there. But let me tell you about the adrenaline rush. Sorry, that was kind of a mixed up sentence there. I figured we'd shoot him. I honestly didn't really want to make that shot. Oh, and he's down. Yep. Good old trusty 300 Magnum. I kind of wanted to wait for him to turn his head to one side. That way I could slip it through there and maybe catch a lung and liver and stuff. But this thing actually has a lot of penetration, so we, we're fine. Uh, I don't actually know where our other one went that we got with the bow. I should have been paying more attention to that. I was looking off in the distance with my binoculars, and I actually found a roe deer shed, it looks like. I don't think it's big. It definitely doesn't look big. 120? I don't really know if that's a good score for a roe deer. I know that from looking at that and comparing it to, like, the antler sizes of roe deer in Call of the Wild, that doesn't look like a very big one, but I don't know. Let me know. I'll have to uh, look at the leaderboards and kind of see. All right, here's our other boar. It definitely doesn't look huge, but I figure we'd take him just because he's a boar. Uh, definitely going to be, like, a 400. Well, 500. Okay, well, I'll take it. 29 GMs, I'll take. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go back over to my other bait site that I have set up across the river and see if we can get ourselves any other nice pigs. Okay, and apparently that actually is a pretty decent single antler find for the roe deer because we are number 53 on the leaderboard, so that's pretty cool. I've never been on the leaderboards for anything before. And I'm also on the leaderboards for a 183, the whitetail that we found in our whitetail video from the other day ago. We're 72. That's pretty neat. I've never been on the leaderboards or anything. I mean, I, it's just sheds. I guess it's not that hard to get on the leaderboards, but very cool. All right, guys, so we're back here at the feeder, the original feeder. And there's actually a pretty decent looking boar hog right there. I think we're going to try and take him with the 300 from here. I actually spawned in to my tent or at my tent and, uh came this way instead of spawning at the outpost and coming the other way like I should have that way I could have gotten to the stand but I don't really want to spend too much time here I think we're going to try and get a good shot on this guy so that's about 110 meters out and I think we I think we dropped him it looks like we did pretty sure that was the biggest one there I didn't really see anything else I think there was another small boar and then the rest were just uh, a bunch of sows so not worried about those ones we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go back to the other stand and then maybe if we don't see anything there we'll do some like ground hunting we'll just walk around do some stalk hunting and stuff all right here's our hog right here let's see he doesn't look all that bad let's go ahead and see what he scores if I can there we go not going to be huge. I give him 600. Uh, 540. Okay, well, I'm, on, I'm off on that. We've got a nice double lung shot there. I think we clipped him, like, in the back side here. It's mainly where we hit him. But not a bad shot overall. All right, guys. So right there, you can kind of see. I'll probably zoom in in the editing. That is a nice-looking boar hog, if you ask me. And he's actually going to be stepping out into the open. And we'll get a little bit better at those a little bit better look at those cutters and I think I'm just, my stand is just right up here and then we're gonna see if there's anything else at the feeder and then we're gonna if not then we're gonna definitely get this guy because he looks pretty good he doesn't look that bad all right let's hop up in the stand it looks like there's one there one there I think that was it I guess I guess that's probably him right there hit him with a squeal oh wait what's this coming in over here Oh, that's a nice one. That one looks even better, if you ask me. You can, you know, we can probably get both of them. Let's try and get this guy. That worked out pretty good. Got him, and then this guy looks to be still over this way. It's right there. Wow, that one looks really good. That one might be better than our one from earlier. I can't remember what he scored because I actually recorded that yesterday. This is probably, probably going to go up on like Thursday or Friday for you guys, but it's Tuesday for me. You know what? Since I don't really care if we spook anything else because this might be the last harvest of this video, let's let him get up a little bit closer. I don't want to, you know, glitch out and accidentally hit the tree even though I'm not going to hit, like, not aiming at it. Yeah, right there. Oh, god dang it. Of course he turns towards us. That's a really nice boar. Really nice one. I'm hoping he turns broadside for us because I would really like to put this put this guy down quickly. That we don't have to 
That way we don't really have to go track this, our two hogs really far, because I don't really want to do that right now. But it looks like he's coming real close. Get the bow loaded up. And we smoked him. Let's go. That's a beautiful shot there. So I guess let's grab this guy really quick, and then we'll go hunt for our other one. Wow, look at those cutters, man. What's he going to score? I don't think it's going to be as good as the other one, but 815, definitely pretty good. I think we'll uh, I think we'll get a trophy shot of him, and that looks like a pretty good picture. Not bad. I wish it was a little bit easier, but I guess that's as good as we're going to get there. You can kind of see his cutters. You can see me, and I think we're going to take that one. Looks really good. All right, so... Definitely not going to tax or mind him or anything, but I figured we'd get a little picture. And now we're going to go track this guy down. Hopefully he's not too far away. He should have done died by now. And that is an intestine shot. Wow. I guess I did aim a little bit too far back now that I kind of think of it. All right, well, we'll see if we can find him. He should be down by now anyway, since it took us a while to get that pig. All right, let's see what this one scores. Definitely doesn't look like that bad of a pig. And 784, yeah, that's kind of what I was going to say. I was about to say, like, I give him 720, but not bad. All right, so I'm going to fast travel to one of the thingies and go to the lodge. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be it with this hunt. Okay, never mind. All right, well, we got our pig here. 961.239. Okay. <clears throat> I think that was a red deer. But, yeah, that's a pretty good pig there. I'll definitely take it. And then we put our mule deer up there instead. If we ever get another nice buck, we'll put it right there. And then I can't look down because there's a really nice thing there that I don't want to show you. So the lodge looks pretty cool. Don't want to show you none of that. And then here's one of my other pretty decent uh, pheasants here, 25. Not bad. But I got a way better one. So you're going to have to wait for that video. So, well, actually, I didn't get it on video. But I'll, sh I'll show it to you in the video. But anyways... Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.